If you're familiar with a high-level programming language like MATLAB, it's useful to think about three major differences between a high-level language like MATLAB and the low-level language C. I call C a low-level language because the mapping from the code that you write onto elementary CPU operations is pretty direct as compared to MATLAB where there's a number of steps in between. So it might be easier to write code in a high level language like MATLAB, but if you have limited memory or limited computation speed, it's nice to have more control over what the CPU actually does and how it makes use of those CPU cycles and limited memory. So before talking about differences, differences between C and MATLAB, Remember that any data or program on a computer is represented by a series of zeros and ones. And each one of these is called a bit. These zeros and ones are grouped together in groups of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And these eight together are called a byte. For instance, your laptop might have eight gigabytes of RAM. I'm going to call the rightmost bit the zeroth bit of the byte, and the leftmost is the seventh bit. And the zeroth bit is also called the least significant bit, and the seventh is called the most significant bit. This makes sense because if you're thinking about a base 10 number, for example, the number in the right column is less significant than the number in the left column. So now if we want to represent all eight gigabytes of your RAM, for example, we can draw that as a vertical stack of bytes. Okay. And we're going to call this the zeroth byte. One, two, three, fourth, five, six, seven, eight, eighth, etc. cetera. And these numbers are also called the address of the byte. So the address of this byte is 0. The address of this byte is 4. We don't talk about addresses of bits. Bytes are the smallest addressable unit. Now, when you use a variable in your program, the compiler assigns it to live somewhere in memory. It allocates some memory for that variable. So let's say, for example, you defined a variable called cost, and that costs occupies four bytes, from four up to seven. Typically, a variable is going to use more than one byte to complete its representation. So this cost is going to be the cost of a hot dog, in our example. And that cost is going to be $2.50. Okay? Don't worry about how these 32 bits here are representing this number 2.5. That's something we'll talk about later. OK, so we have one variable sitting in memory here. It's taking four bytes. It's called cost. We can also define another variable. I'm going to call it cost p. And the job of cost p is to hold the address of cost. Okay? We see that cost here occupies addresses 4 to 7. But when you're talking about the address of a variable, you're always talking about the lowest address. So cost p, if it's going to hold the, the address of cost, it's going to be equal to 4. And the reason I call it cost p is it's actually a pointer to cost. So this, the value stored here, the 4, points to the address of cost. So we could write this out in English and say that cost p is equal to the address of cost. And we can even say something like cost is equal to the contents at the address cost p. Okay. These are going to be two fundamental operations in C, getting the address of a variable or the contents at a particular address. So this brings us to our first difference between C and MATLAB. In C, the idea of addresses and pointers, which are actually the same thing, a pointer is just an address of a variable. 
These are going to be very important concepts in C. In MATLAB, we don't use it. Second difference between C and MATLAB. If I was going to write some code, use some variables in MATLAB, I could just start using them. I could write cost is equal to 2.5, the quantity of hot dogs is equal to 3, and I can say the total cost is equal to the quantity times the cost. And now at this point, total is going to have the value 7.5, 3 times 2.5. In C, I can't do that. Before I ever write any of this, I had to write, I had to define the variables. I'd have to say int quantity and float cost total. Okay. These commands here are actually defining the variables. They say I'm going to use a variable called quantity and I'm going to use a variable called cost and a variable called total. And quantity is going to be an integer and cost and total are going to be floating point numbers. And when I do that in C, it tells the compiler, hey, set aside space and memory to hold these variables. And also, I'm going to tell you now how to interpret the zeros and ones at those locations in terms of an integer or as a floating point number. So you have to define your variables first before you ever use them. And these variables are called, or these types of variables are called data types. I have an integer data type and I have a floating point data type. And in MATLAB, there's no concept of data types. Finally, the third difference between MATLAB and C is that Mat or C programs are compiled, meaning that your source code is taken and turned into an executable version of that code. Whereas in MATLAB, it's just interpreted. which means that your code is in real time while it's running turned into machine executable code. So this is a major difference. Compiled code can be optimized and generally runs faster because it's been fully compiled in advance. 